What's up guys, Matt here, and today I want to do something a little bit different in Car Mechanic Simulator and think about replacing the Model T truck that we have out front with a new shop truck that I recently found at auction. It's actually pretty cool because it's patina, which everybody loves, right? That's some people do, some people don't. But here it is, it's our Ford F100. Let's move it to the garage. Now, I'm not crazy about the color at all, but I love the fact that it's slammed and we've got a nice modern V8 in there that probably needs some freshening up. So let's move this into the garage and get going on it. Now, my hope is that when we paint this, the patina will stay. And I think it will, because if, as long as we don't use like the uh, welder or go in and replace body panels, then it should stay the way it is. At least that's what my hope is. But before we do all that, let's do some testing on this engine. See if uh, we can get away with just cruising with it or if it needs to be uh, freshened up a bit. It does have an OBD2 port, which is nice. Figured it would. And it's looking like it's so, so spark plugs, easy to change. But we're gonna dig a little deeper with a compression test. That'll really tell us what we're working with here. And here we go with that compression test. And it's looking like pretty tired. So I think we will rebuild this engine. Cause I think the truck will deserve it. All right, well enough with the testing. We know we're gonna rebuild it. We want a nice fresh engine for this one. So let's get up, get it up in the air, drain the oil, drain the fluids and get this engine out. Guys, I hope you were having a fantastic day. I cannot complain. Move that to car lifter A. It's nice getting back into these uh, car mechanic simulator games again. And actually had decent oil in it. Not bad. All right, move that back to where you came from. And let's get the uh, coolant out and all of that. Out goes the coolant and out goes the windshield fluid, wiper fluid. We might as well drain the brakes because I imagine we're going to be doing that too. I'm not seeing a power steering reservoir. Oh, there it is. It's because I'm blind. <laughs> it's in there with all the other black stuff. All right, now we are cool to start pulling things apart. First comes the drive shaft. This exhaust is gonna need upgraded as well. And let's get the starter off. This one is actually more complete than some of the vehicles we've been doing lately. So it's kind of nice to have all the parts and pieces that we actually need. So then hopefully I can re just repair and not have to replace a whole bunch of stuff. Although a few things I'll probably wanna do performance. Just have a nice cruiser, streetable, but also nice on power. Nothing crazy, but a good parts runner truck. All right, I think we are good to pull this thing out. Oh, disconnect our exhaust, I guess would help. There we go, that one's out, that one's out. I guess we don't really have to do that. All right, time to pull the motor and out it comes. We can go put it on the engine stand. Get to work on that. And there it is. Yep, not very pretty either. It's pretty worn out. This time, instead of going with the engine first rebuild, I'm just gonna go with the suspension, get all this out of here, freshen it up, see if we can repair it. It'd be nice. The wheel off. These, looks like these wheels need a little freshening up as well. So we will be pulling them, pulling the tires off and probably getting new tires as well. Probably wouldn't hurt. Especially if we're gonna be making more power. Okay, wheel hub cap comes off, exposing our wheel bearing. Now we can move our hub. And as long as we spray that and off it comes. Now we can get our knuckle cover off, upper control arm. And we'll go ahead and grab that sway bar in link. And get the shock assembly out of here. Free up some room. Outer tie rod. And our inner tie rod, lower control arm. And that will expose our knuckle. We can now remove. All right, I'm gonna grab these rubber bushings while I'm over here. Always a pain, because I either forget them, or I usually forget them. <laughs> All right, that's that side done, onto the other side. I just realized I didn't give a backstory on this truck. I bought it at an auction when I was looking for another vehicle particular vehicle that I did recently um, and saw this sitting there. I'm like, I will grab that as well. And then just kind of put it off to the side and then get to it later, which is exactly what we're doing now. I'm going to go ahead and grab these, the exhaust system, get it out of here. 
And we can move on to the back. Let's get this rear tire off. I like the the wide, the, the width of these rear wheels. It definitely gives a good look. Okay, now we've got, ooh, disc brakes back here, nice. Yeah, this is definitely kind of a resto mod thing, which I dig, makes it much more drivable. Get the disc brake off. Solid rear axle. And wheel hub three, they call it. Rear axle knuckle. Yeah, there's a lot of geometry to this rear end here. Get this rubber bushing out. As well as our leaf spring U-bolts. Our other leaf spring U-bolts. Remove the plate. And the control arm. Now we can remove the shock absorber once we spray it. You get this cap off, the spring off, and the spring cap off. Perfect. On to the other side. And now the axle is ready to come out. And we'll go ahead and grab our fuel pump and fuel tank while we're here. That leaves pretty much everything stripped out, and we don't want to touch the body. We want to keep that patina, but we do want to repaint it. And get our wheels and tires separated here. I actually do like the black five spokes. It does look pretty slick. Looks really good on this truck, too. Time to tear down our engine. Let's flip it over. I like to start from the bottom. It just makes sense to me, I guess. Get the oil pan off of here. And then from here, we can start undoing all our pistons and our crankshaft bearing caps. Oil filter can come off, and I believe we can just rotate this thing back around. And start pulling stuff off the front of the engine. Let's go with the roll, idler, idler roller A. That one goes first. Then we can get our serpentine belt, water pump pulley, all four bolts out. Then we can grab our water pump. It doesn't look terrible, just definitely worth fixing up. Belt tensioner needs to come off before we can get to that serpentine belt. Now we can get our harmonic balancer out of here. And a bunch of pulleys. Our final pulley there. Now we can move on to alternator. And power steering pump. There you are. Of course, one's got to be a little tough to get off. Now we can remove our... Let's see, where do we go next? It's been a while since I've done one of these. Let's start from up here. Let's get the coils out of here. There's one, two three and four now we can remove spark plugs look pretty rough i've definitely seen better engine head cover can come off and we expose our camshafts okay where do we go next <laughs> we'll go with exhaust manifold i've been so used to doing the push rod engines lately it's been a while since i've done one of these overhead cam engines fuel rail come off then we'll remove all that stuff on the other side you know i wish removing these manifold studs was as easy to do in real life as it is in game those things are the bane of my existence and we got that off now we expose our timing belts grab that one grab that one we can grab our pulleys there, 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 and there. Now we should be able to move on to pulling out the camshaft. There's one, there's two. Now we remove, where do we go next? <laughs> the throttle body here. And off it comes, just like that. Now we can move the intake manifold. Now we can remove that head. Two bolts, last one. There it goes. Grab that fuel filter while we're here. And we can pull these pistons right out. Get that done and move on to the other side. And we are down to just the crankshaft here. Grab it. There it goes. And we can pull the block off and repair what we can and replace what we can't. Also, I'm going to throw these brakes on the brake lathe. Get those milled down and good as new. 
the time to start repairing and again I'm not very good at doing this while talking, so I'll get this knocked out. I decided to get some some performance parts. We're gonna do do a little bit mild, but definitely gonna do some performance parts in this. Uh, but nothing over the top, nothing crazy. Let's flip this thing over and get our pistons installed. All that is together, and we can now do our oil pan. Six little bolts there. And we can put on our power steering pump. Didn't go with performance again. Not going for a monster motor here because I don't want to have to go with the performance transmission and all that stuff. Just going for something mild and fun. Here we go. We're going to flip it over. But that being said, I did buy a bunch of performance stuff. Put our heads on. Mostly kind of like bolt-on type things other than the pistons there, the performance pistons, which you saw. We do have performance camshafts here, as well as performance exhaust manifold. Gotta make it sound good with some headers, All right? Now we can put our spark plugs in, which happen to be performance. From there, we can throw our cam gear on. Then our timing belt. Then move on to the other head. There goes that timing belt and we can put on our performance intake manifold. All shiny, You're gonna have that. And our performance fuel rails. And our timing cover can go on now and we can put on all those pulleys once again. And we're ready for our water pump. On it goes. Our harmonic balancer can go on now as well as our water pump pulley. Four little bolts there, serpentine belt. And we're ready for our tensioner. On goes our other serpentine belt and our idler roller. Beautiful, that's the front built out. Now to the head cover. We can do our performance ignition coils. They match so well with the red and then the little cover that goes over that. The coils cover, they call it. And that is that side built out. Yes, onto the other side. Now we can move back here, throw on our fuel filter, performance of course, and a performance throttle body. On it goes. Looking good. I'm gonna throw the flywheel on while we're back here. And might as well throw the clutch plate. We'll just get this all done so we don't have to do it under the car. Which would be almost impossible to actually do on an engine stand, but hey, they're letting us do it, so we'll do it. And our release bearing. Perfect. This thing is ready to go. Take it off the stand. Now we can go lower the truck and put it back in. This is going to be fun. I'm digging on this. This is going to be a fun, fun truck. And we're definitely going to have to take it to the drag strip. Okay, we're done with the engine crane. Off it goes. And look at that. Beautiful engine and an old truck. Love it. While we're in here, let's just start putting brake master cylinder on, coolant reservoir, get our radiator there. Perfect. Fan housing with our fans. I believe we are good to go here. We can put together our shock assembly here. Let's take care of our fuse box here. Put our relays in. I love that they added this. This is so cool. It can be tedious at times, but I think it's cool. It adds a, a little level of uh, realism to it all. Go ahead and start mounting our new tires on our freshly fixed up rims. No more rust spots sitting on them anymore. And we'll take it over, do our little balancing here. Mini game that they have. There it is. Let us move on to the suspension. We've got to put in our cross member here. There it is. The lovely little rubber bushings that go with it. Might as well just do all four now so I don't forget later. Now we can put on our front steering knuckle. Better put in our steering rack and our sway bar. That would be a good idea. Be able to connect everything together, our inner tie rod and our outer tie rod. Lower control arm with the bushings 
in it goes. Everything looking so nice and new. On goes the shock assembly as well as the sway bar front end with B. Now we can go to the upper control arm. There it goes. And let's move out to here. Front knuckle cover, hub, inner bearing, wheel hub bearing. And just going with a regular brake disc. Figured we could fix ours up. I'll go with that. Brake pads. I don't expect this thing to make crazy, crazy horsepower. So just going with regular brakes. No harm, no foul. And then we are ready for our tire, wheel and tire combo. And for the fronts, we want to use the 295. All right, on to the other side. Now we'll do star pattern. There we go. <laughs> I feel better about that. Let's throw in our ECU over here. Oh, from the engine bay. They're not even going to worry about it. On to the rear. Let's get our new axle in there. All nice and new. Do the control arm rubber bushing. We can do leaf spring plate. U bolt. Other U bolt. Knuckle housing C. Wheel hub. Uh, let's do our spring cap and spring setup back here. Get our spring on there. And the absorber cap as well as our shock here. Now we're ready to continue out this way. Four bolts, rear brake disc. Love the fact that it's disc brakes back here. Definitely makes old vehicles drive much better. Disc brake kit. And we are ready for our rear tire, the big old 31535R20s. And there it is. Look how wide that, I just love that. It gives such a good look. Perfect. On to the other side. And there we have it. All the suspension done. Let's tie in our, uh, Dry train, why don't we? Let's get our gearbox on here. Six bolts and our starter. Now to the drive shaft and we should have drive line completed after these four little bolts and these four little bolts. While we're under here, let's go ahead and throw in the fuel tank right there. And I do have a performance fuel pump for that. Might as well. Let's throw our exhaust system on. Of course, all performance. We want that to sound good. Front, middle, and rear. Now we can get to that engine bay, put our ECU in, and I think we're getting pretty close. At least getting close enough to paint it. There goes the ECU, perfect. Go ahead and do our coolants, or our fluids, starting with coolant. Power steering fluid, brake fluid, and engine oil. And while I'm thinking about it, why don't we clean the interior of the truck? Haven't done that yet. You don't want it filthy inside. You just want to keep that patina on the outside. I do want to install new windows. Don't want to be looking through that old terrible looking <laughs> glass that was on here. So we get that on here and we have new windows and I'm not feeling these headlights either. Let's get rid of these and go with the old school traditional style, not this LED thing that's going on here. I like the old school look. There we go. Getting our alignment done here. There we go, all set to go there. I say we send this thing over to the paint booth and figure out what we wanna do. Oh, there is like a cool livery set for an old shop truck that is really cool. That's the only livery option we have, and I actually really dig it. Just got to be a matter of matching, or we could go multiple colors. I don't think I, I think I want to match to this white. I think that is it right there. That looks right to me. Oh yeah, I'm digging this. Ain't it? Here we are at the dyno, and man, this thing does look really cool. There's one thing I was thinking about changing here, and I'm going to pull out the grill. I found a chrome one with the v8 logo that i love so much 
like off a 57 F100, I believe was the year that they did that. And yeah, I think already that definitely sets it apart. Love it. Awesome. Let's see what kind of horsepower this thing makes. Oh yeah, I need an interior. I forgot. I did buy parts and pieces for that. We got our bench seat there and our steering wheel there. Much better. I'm going to sit in it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm loving it. Okay. Now, out of curiosity, will it start? Indeed. Oh. That sounds really, really good, actually. Nice. All right, let's see what kind of horsepower we're making. Let's see what we started with and see what we're making now. The factory power was 498 horsepower, 458 pound-feet of torque. And the survey says... Oh, making a lot of horsepower there at high revs. 818 horsepower, 744 pound feet of torque drag it's in the a's for the drag race for drag rating wow that's a lot more than i thought it was gonna make that is impressive that is one hell of a shop truck i'm being proactive here with 800 and something horsepower and that much torque i think it's best to put slicks on that actually looks really cool with those slicks back there like that all right time to go drag racing with it i can't wait anymore here we are, we're just gonna jump right into the championship. Quarter mile, A class, except here we go. We are going up against, oh, Cletus McFarland's Crown Victoria, neighbor. Awesome, I'm down, let's do it. And there it is over there. Our truck looks good, by the way. All right, let's give it a go. Definitely hooked up. And we're walking neighbor. But he's hanging good. Nice, got him. Not by a whole lot though. We ran a 10-7 with this truck. It's a 10 second truck. That's insane, awesome. I'm going up against a Dodge Charger. RT Dominic Toretto. There it is over there. You gotta build that car. Not a bad idea. Here we go. Oh. He's keeping up with us. It looks like we are going to get him. Got him. Nice. This truck's doing a lot better than I thought it would. Another 10 second run. We're going up against, can you believe it? A Hot Wheels Bone Shaker, which is pretty much what we're replacing our shop truck with. That Model T truck that I have out there is basically a modified bone shaker. And there it is. Barely see him over there. All right, here we go. Oh, he, he, you hear his supercharger whine? Oh, we're just gonna get him. I think we're going to the final. How about that? A 10-6 this time. We're going up against the Batmobile Arkham Knight. Pursuit mode. All right, bring it on. There it is over there. <laughs> Very interesting, can't even see it from inside our truck. All right, let's do it. Oh yeah. We're gonna win this thing. Unless he's got some sort of crazy, no. We got it. Woohoo! we won the championship with our truck. First trip out. That is awesome. Nice payout, 11,250 credits. I am happy with this truck. I'd say it looks quite fitting out in front of the out in front of the shop like that. Looks really good. I love this thing. I love the patina. I love everything about it. It's quite nice. Just out of curiosity, what could we sell it for? Could sell it for 56,672 for a profit of 28,403, but we're gonna hang on to this one for quite a while until we build ourselves another shop vehicle, whatever that may be. If there's anything you guys would like to see me build, I like all types of cars. Just let me know in the comments. It lets me know what you guys wanna see. And if you made it this far, please consider giving the video a like. It really helps them out and it really helps me out. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. This was a fun one for sure. And I'll see you in the next one.